Hi Bobcats, it's Miss Lee. And today's lesson is on subtracting a negative. How do we subtract a negative number? Make sure that you have your notes and you're filling in your notes and working your examples along with me. Okay, remember that subtraction is the same as adding the opposite. So if you have the problem five minus a negative seven, that's the same as saying five adding the opposite of negative seven, which is a positive seven. So it becomes five plus seven. Negative 25 minus a negative 10 is the same as saying negative 25 plus the opposite of negative 10, which is a positive 10. So do you see what's going on here? Each time when we subtracted a negative, what happened? That integer turned into a positive number, didn't it? So subtracting a negative means you're just adding the positive of that number. And what we do to help us with this, if you have negative 25 minus a negative 10, you're still going to circle each integer and their signs, but this negative 10 doesn't have just one sign, it has two, it has that double negative. So we're gonna take that double negative, we're gonna connect it and turn it into a big positive symbol. Same thing here, five minus a negative seven. You're still gonna circle your integers and their signs. If it's a double negative, you need to circle both signs. Then you just connect the double negatives and make a big positive sign. That's all there is to it. And then you would add, um, you, then you would combine the integers using your rules like normal. So let's do some examples. Five minus a negative two. So I'm gonna circle, positive five. I have a double negative with the two, so I circle both of them. Now let me go ahead and combine them, join them, to make a big positive symbol. What are the signs? They're both positive, so you add them up and you give them the same symbol. Five plus two is seven, and it stays a positive because our integers were both positive. Okay, next one, we have a seven. Sometimes you're gonna see the negative written kind of raised up like this, it's still a negative, so we still have a double negative here. So we wanna circle both of them and turn it into a big plus sign. So now we have a positive seven and a positive eight. Same signs, we add them up, keep the positive symbol, and the answer is 15. All right, next one, we have a negative three. We have the minus a negative four, so we have that double negative. Go ahead and turn it into a big plus symbol. Signs are different, if the signs are different, then we subtract, so four minus three is one. Are there more positives or are there more negatives? There are more positives, so it is a positive one. Go ahead and pause the video and go through and solve the next three problems on your own, then come back and check. Okay, let's see how you did. Negative 18 minus a negative eight is gonna be a negative 10. Negative 18, the double negative turns into a positive, different sign, so you subtract. There are more negatives, so the answer is negative. Okay, the next one, your answer is going to be, I should have an equal sign here, it's going to be a positive eight. We have a negative two, we have a double negative 10, the double negative turns into a positive, different sign, so you subtract. 10 minus two is eight. There are more positive signs, so the answer is positive. And our last example is going to be a negative 12. We have negative 15, we have the double negative three, the double negative turns into a big positive, different signs, so you subtract, 15 minus three is 12. Because there are more negatives, our answer is negative. How'd you do? Okay, let's work out a couple of word problems. Courtney is very interested in cyrogenics, which is the science of very low temperatures. With the help of her science teacher, she is doing an experiment on the effect of low temperatures on bacteria. She cools one sample of bacteria to a temperature of negative 58 degrees Celsius, and another to negative 85 degrees Celsius, so those are pretty cold. What was the temperature difference in the two experiments? Okay, in this case, we didn't have to look for clue words to tell us if the integers were positive or negative because it gave it to us. But there is a very good clue word here that you need to know, and that is the word difference. 
So difference is one of those clue words that tell you to subtract. Remember having to look for those clue words? Are you adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing? You still have to do that. In this case, the clue word is difference, which means to subtract. The best way to write this expression is to say one number, and I'm finding the difference, which means to subtract another number. That's your expression. Then you fill in the blanks with your two numbers. First number is negative 58 minus the second number is a negative 85. Okay. Put in my negative inside parentheses. Now I do it this way because a lot of students will do this. They'll do the negative 58, then they know difference means to subtract, but instead of writing negative 85, they just put 85 because they see this as a negative. But the operation is to subtract, so you're, it's going to be a double negative, just like it is here. So this would be incorrect. Okay. Once you have this, then you can solve it. You circle your integers and their signs. This double negative turns into a big old positive. The signs are different, so you have to subtract. 85 minus 58, borrow. 15 minus 8 is 7, 7 minus 5 is 2, so it's going to be 27 degrees. Are there more positives or more negatives? There's more positives. So the difference is 27 degrees, and that is correct. So be very careful. Any time with these integers, you see that word difference, you need to think, oh, I'm going to have a double negative. Let's try one more. In Fairbanks, Alaska, the average January temperature is negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit, while the average April temperature is 30 degrees Fahrenheit. What is the difference between the average temperatures? So again, we're looking for the difference, so we're subtracting. Okay, so one temperature minus the other temperature. All right, so the larger temperature is the 30 degrees. So it's going to be 30 minus the smaller temperature, which is a, not 13, but a negative 13. Difference means double negative, and there's our double negative. So if we circle, turn that double negative into a big positive, what do you notice? The signs are the same. So if the signs are the same, add them up. 30 plus 13 is 43 degrees Fahrenheit. So the difference is 43 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the answer. If that kind of confuses you, what you can do is draw a model. In this case, I'm going to draw a thermometer. All right, I need negative 13, so this is going to be my zero. This is going to be my negative 13, and I need a positive 30. We want to know what is the difference in temperatures from here. Well, from 0 to 13, it's going to be, if you're going to go up to 0, be a positive 13. From 0 to 30 would be a positive 30. Add them together, and that's where the 43 degrees comes from. Okay, nice job. If you have any questions, please let your teacher know.